Hello and welcome to this first tutorial in augmented reality using Unity. So, uh, augmented reality is basically overlaying interactive media, particularly graphics, over live video. Um, and then using a bunch of accelerometers and motion tracking, video tracking, we can create quite interactive uh, environments. Okay, so, um, there's lots of different ways of doing AR. We can use HTML and JavaScript in the shape of A-Frame. Adobe do some software for this. Unity, which obviously is what I'm going to be doing right now. And there's lots of other ways. And we can output that to web-based systems or directly to sort of mobile apps. Uh, turn on mobile phones, tablets, etc. Okay, uh, what I'm going to be looking at today is, is sort of making an augmented reality solar system using Unity. Well, a reduced solar system for today. So, the simple steps. The simple way is we're going to create a new project, we're going to set up the right packages for this, create the R in a simulation first, because that means we don't have to worry about exporting and debugging on an actual platform. We can then add some appropriate assets, add interactivity, then adapt to mobile device. Simple as that. This has not been done in one lesson though. Um, so basically, um, lesson one, we're going to look at setting up the project and just create a test scene. In lesson two, we'll look at the actual image tracking, like you saw in the opening video. Um, where we can look at a picture and we can then uh, the camera will see that Unity identifies what it is and puts the appropriate model around it. Then we'll have some interactivity where we can click on an object in scene that will then display some other information uh, and then finally maybe some extra bits where we can maybe also include video footage, uh, maybe animated models etc and some sound effects. Okay, um, so in Unity itself so I'm in Unity, I, uh, this is the version I'm currently using because I think this is the latest long-term support at the time of filming. I'm going to go to 3D Core. Now it might be tempting to go down to the AR, but this in includes a lot of extra libraries that can make the project size very big. So I'm just going to give it a sensible name. Um, so AR Planets. Um, I've chosen an appropriate folder and create project. Now while that's um, then creating, what you can be doing is making sure you've got some assets ready. So if we just go on to, well, not, not if we, I, I've already created some files. Um, I got most of these from the NASA website uh, because they are free for us to use. I've made some of my own. But either way, I've got a picture of the Earth, a picture of Mars, and a picture of the planet textures themselves that I'm going to be then using in the actual project. So why don't you pause this video now, go and make sure you've got some images ready. So one, like I say, will be for the actual tracking one will be for the texture to wrap around the mesh that I'm going to use. Okay, so now Unity's finished creating the project for us. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is drag those resources in. So the one thing I like about Unity is the ability to do this. So I can just select all of these pictures, drag them straight to my assets folder. Now normally I would like to be a bit cleaner and put them into a subfolder but you'll see in a little while why I'm, I'm not doing that on this particular session. I can do that later. Okay, so the first thing to do, well, the second thing to do now is to incorporate the correct um, files. So I'm going to go to the package, package manager, so Windows and Package Manager. So we need to bring in just the things that we'll need for the simulation at this point. If you want to do iPhone development, you'll have to extra, include some extra files later. Okay, so if you're in a slightly older version, um, you might have to do this manually, I'll show you that in just a moment, but I can go into Unity Registry. Again, I'm not going to click on the AR package. I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm looking for the XR AR Foundation. So there we go, Foundation. Now I've got 5.0.7. Um, if you've if you're only seen version 4, then you will have to go on to um, this add by name. And then you would physically type in... I'm just going to be lazy and copy and paste this. And you would physically type in, oops, oh, I pressed one button now, by name, and you would type in this, followed by the 5.0.7, and then it will add it manually. Um, I don't need to do that. I can just click on AR Foundation and install. Uh, this should, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's come past me, do I want to restart? And for this instance, I'll just press yes. OK, 
Okay, unit is restarted, so now I'm going to add the second package. So our second package is going to be the AR course. We've just had the AR foundation. Uh, wait up, yep, AR foundation, and now I'm looking for the AI core. So I'm just going to scroll down and have a look for that. Okay, I forgot it was called the Google AR core. So I'll be developing for Android by the end of this, not iPhone. Uh, but I think you knew the AR kit. For, for iPhone. So I'm just going to click on that, same again, 507. If you've not got access to that, you've only got access to version 4, then same again, you'll have to come up here and add the core manually. Okay, so I'm just going to click on install. And that should bring this in for us. Okay, so that's now both of the main packages installed so that we can do the simulation and then ultimately the Android development. So I'm just now going to close Package Manager down. I'm going to go into our project settings. So I start with build settings. Um, yep, I'm going to go for Windows for now. Obviously, later I'll do Android. And I'm going to click on player settings. Um, so our first bit is um, where am I going to now? I'm going to go onto the XR plugin management. I'm going to enable XR simulation. I'm just going to check that the other things are intact. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need that. XR simulation. Yep, that should do. So that was the main bit. Just clicking XR simulation. Okay, so I can close that down. Close that down. I'm now going to go into Window XR and choose AR Foundation XR Environment. So now it's going to give us a, a basically a default scene for us to play with. So where it sees an image, we'll be able to then do our AR things. Now at this point, this is now going to be kind of up to you. If you want, you can install sample environments and it gives you lots of things to play with. Uh, I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to go in with a with a very basic environment to play with. Okay, so what do I need to do next? If I was to just press play on this now, oops, we've gone up a little bit, bring that back down. Oh, that's fine. I'm just going to drag this onto our main menu. There we go, that's now, now embedded properly. So if I just press play now, nothing fancy should particularly happen. Uh, right there, we're not seeing anything at all. So what I know what we've not done. So right now it's using the main camera. So I'm just going to get rid of the main camera. And I'm going to add an AR session. So if I go into XR, AR session. And that's what will give us some of the scripting to handle this. And then I'm also going to add our XR origin. So XR origin mobile AR. So this now gives us our AR camera um, and a few other little bits and pieces. So now if I press play... We should, I say we should, see, oh there we go. So now we've got our environment, I'm using my right mouse to just zoom around, and I'm using WASD to kind of move around. So you do need to hold the right mouse button down for WAS and D to actually work. And I can use Q and E to sort of go up and down. So make sure you're comfortable with that, because um, now basically you've got a, a, a system ready to go with our AR. Okay, so to enable our simulation so we can start working with it, we need to edit this scene so we can add our own images, i.e. Earth and Mars. Um, so I'm going to go on to, in fact, if I just click on, there we go. if I just click on Edit Environment, now you can see it's greyed out, I can't do it, I need to duplicate this default simulation. So I'm going to duplicate it, it's going to ask me to give it a new name. So I'm just going to call it um, test AR01, just in case I want to have mutual, uh, multiple tests. So there we go, I'm now into the edit mode. Now it's important that before we try and run this, we do click back out of edit, which I'll show you again in a moment. Now I don't particularly like the simulated view because it's two separate images and it can get confused. So I'm actually going to delete that. I'm going to add um, a empty. Nope. I'm going to create an empty and I'm going to call this tracked image 01. I'm going to go on to my um, control panel where we are now going to add. What we're going to add. We're going to add a simulated tracked image. Now you can see it's asking us for a texture, so I'm just going to drag uh, Mars onto there. So I'm going to drag the mouse picture. Now that isn't the actual picture, as you can see, we can't see it there. It's just that it knows this image it's looking for. I'm also going to change this to scale 1 
and one. I had some difficulties with it not working, and it was just the size thing. So now, under Tracked Image, I'm right clicking, and I'm going to add a quad. So this quad is the actual picture we're going to see in scene. So there's our quad. So I can just drag my picture of Mars onto it. So there we go, now I've got a Mars picture. Um, I'm going to click back on the tracked image. So I'm leaving the quad alone. Um, it's really easy to clumsy click and do the wrong thing. So I'm just going to click on the scale. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to, do you know, just for now, I was going to create a proper little scene for it and make it look like it was on a wall. But for now I'm just going to put Mars just there. Okay, so we've now got tracked image. Uh, with Mars and the naming is very important Mars with little m the quad's got the Mars texture on uh, I'm now going to come back out of our ed out of editing mode back in scenes by just clicking scenes so there we go we can now see we've got our Mars picture now if I expand on this I've got uh, the XR origin camera and main camera if I press play it should come up with tracked images so it knows it's looking for something so it's got trackables if I just come around a little bit, okay, it's not quite detecting it just yet because we still need to add a few more things. Okay, so our next step is to right click in the uh, assets window. I'm going to create an XR reference image library. So this is going to keep track of all the images that we want to use as tracking references. So I'm just going to leave it with that default name. I can say add image. I'm going to drag my Mars picture onto here. So again, still important, the same file name. Uh, and I'm going to say keep texture at runtime. I've also heard that if you specify the size of it uh, that can make it more accurate so if you know exactly how big your real printout is going to be then you can specify it there and it can help with the tracking uh, but obviously we're in a simulation view so it doesn't matter right now. Okay so now I've got that the next bit to do is starting to link these together. Okay so we're going to click on our XR origin, we're going to add component and we're going to look for our tracked image manager. So we've got the serialized library, nothing, image library. So I'm going to drag the image library onto here. Now if it finds an image in the image library it wants to display a prefab. Um, a prefab is just a prefabricated object and we haven't got one of those so we're going to quickly go and make one. So I'm going to click back on our little arrow. Uh, I'm going to click on edit environment. I'm going to uh, create a sphere. So I'm creating a 3 object, 3D object, a sphere. I'm going to make sure this is at zero, zero, zero coordinates because it will be all relative later. I'm going to scale this down a little bit because this is going to be our planet. So I really want it to be a similar size to the picture. I'm going to drag my Mars texture onto it. So I've got a little Mars texture. Um, I'm just going to call this Mars. And this is where the, the spelling and naming is really important. So I've called it Mars the exact same as what my image is, otherwise it won't know how to connect them later. So now I've got Mars, I can drag Mars from here, so I'm just checking, yep it's still zero, 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 so that's fine. I'm going to drag Mars down to my assets folder and that creates our prefab. So now I can come back up here and just delete because it exists down there. So I'm going to come back up to scenes, back onto test and just click back out, so no longer in edit mode. And now we've got our prefab so I should be able to just drag Mars over to there. So now when it sees this picture it knows to display that model. Okay so if I press play there we go we can see it's got the planet and as we move around it's just there. Okay now we can also see it's sort of now we know we've gone behind so we can't see it anymore but Unity sort of does a, a best guess based on where it's spawned in it keeps those coordinates relative, which is really useful because it means when you're on your phone, if it loses tracking for a moment, it'll still stay there. Okay, so that's how we've got our Mars. And if we want to do Earth, and I'll quickly show you how this won't work for multiple images. Um, if I come back into our edit environment, I'm going to just very quickly duplicate this one. So right click duplicate. I'm going to just rename this to image two, where it's got the Mars. I'm also going to add Earth. I'm going to click on the quad drag Earth onto this image. So now we've got Earth instead. Click back on tracked image and I can move it to the side. And if I come back out of the edit mode, we've now got Earth and when I press play, so I've forgotten to do one step but that's fine because we'll all make these mistakes. So you can see it's seeing Earth, which I'm surprised that's actually worked, but it's putting Mars there because it's just seeing something from the image library, which in this instance isn't actually there yet, so this wouldn't work on a mobile phone. And if I click on reference images, add image, drag earth on, 
um, it still doesn't know what to do with it because it's only got Mars there. So in our next lesson, we're going to look at how we can add multiple um, images, multiple models, um, prefabs, so it can choose the appropriate one like you saw in the opening video. OK, so I shall see you in the next lesson when we look at multiple image tracking. And as always, if you've found this video useful, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you later.